So I'm in southwest Berlin with lots of clothing stores lining this busy street. And I'm going to pop into one of the stores. It's a chain, quite well-known chain, to see what kind of clothing is on offer. So whether they have more cotton items or polyester items on sale. And I'm popping into the uh, clothing store just now. Cotton t-shirt, white cotton t-shirt. Classic, yep. Jackets made of synthetic materials, obviously. Polyester, 100% more trousers made from 97% cotton all right okay so I just left the clothing store and it seemed like most of the items on sale were made from cotton and I wonder what what really is better for our environment cotton or polyester my gut feeling would be cotton because it's a natural fiber produced from a plant whereas polyester is made from oil. But we will find out. I don't know, it depends if the polyester clothing is recycled or not. I think when, when it is recycled, then it's maybe better. And it depends also on if the cotton is, um, how it is produced, if it is uh, biological or not. I think cotton is better. Uh, it's natural and uh, sustainable, so I prefer cotton. And it's uh, nice on the skin, <laughs> so the feeling is better. I always buy, try to buy uh, cotton, but uh, the most thing is with polyester, and that's not good. It's, it's bad for, for the skin, and it's definitely plastic, and it will never rot away. This is Living Planet. My name is Ben Restler, and in this episode, I'm going to try and answer what's better for the environment, cotton or polyester clothing. It's clearly a tricky question. Let's start by looking at cotton. In 2022, round about 25 million metric tons of cotton were produced globally, according to non-profit group Textile Exchange. That year, about 20% of all textile fibers produced globally were made from cotton. And cotton, as you probably know, is an agricultural crop. In 2023, China produced over 5 million metric tons of cotton. China and India are the largest cotton producers, and um, especially India is also a country that is known for water scarcity. That's Laura Scherer an assistant professor at Leiden University, specialized on the environmental impacts of agricultural production. Cotton is a crop that is grown in an agricultural field. Then after the harvest, the cotton lint is separated from the seeds and it's packaged into bales. Then it takes still multiple steps until it gets to the cotton yarn, as we also know it for knitting. And after that, there are different ways to produce fabrics out of this yarn. And then finally, these fabrics are cut and sewed and then assembled into the final garments that are ready for retailing. So cotton, as we know, is a natural fiber derived from the cotton plant. Let's look at the ecological impact of cotton production. Most cotton is cultivated using pesticides. That means growers use chemicals to target insects, weeds and fungal infections to protect the plant's growth. But pesticides can be harmful to the environment and to agricultural workers as well. Pesticides are often used to increase the production and relative to the share of arable land that cotton uses, it uses a disproportionately high amount of pesticides. Cultivating cotton also requires fertilizers and considerable quantities of water, more than growing sugar, for example. So much so that some researchers say cotton production will become unsustainable in some parts of the world. Cotton is a water-hungry crop and how much water cotton uses depends on the location where the cotton is, is cultivated. But on average, the seed cotton needs about 3,600 liters per kilogram. But it depends very much on the location where the cotton is cultivated. 
Polyester, in contrast, is a plastic. It's a synthetic material that's made from petroleum. You heard that right, oil. The fossil fuel we tend to associate with powering our cars or heating our homes. Does that mean cotton is better for our environment than polyester because it's an organic material? Well, not necessarily. Let's have a look at polyester production. In 2022, over 60 million metric tons of polyester fabric were produced, according to Textile Exchange. And did you know that over 50% of the world's textile fabrics are made from polyester? It's the most widely used fiber on the planet. Why? Because it's cheaper to produce than cotton. It's strong, durable and crease resistant, and it's quick drying. Today, most polyester is also produced in China. As mentioned before, polyester is a kind of plastic that's made from petroleum, a fossil fuel that needs to be extracted from the ground or ocean. The images were iconic. Louisiana state bird, covered in oil, a symbol of the Gulf disaster. But extracting and transporting oil can, as we've seen time and time again, lead to devastating and long-lasting environmental disasters. Just think of the 2010 Deepwater Horizon oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. What happens next? Susanna Horn of the Finnish Environment Institute explains. After the crude oil is extracted, it's uh, processed in a refinery to chemicals and then it's further polymerized into pellets and then it's turned into fiber in a melt spinning process. And then these fibers are spun and to, together to produce a yarn. So each of these process steps consume energy. So how do polyester and cotton production compare? Some researchers say cotton is far more harmful to our environment than polyester. One 2023 study in Nature Reviews Earth and Environment found that producing one kilogram of cotton takes at least five times the amount of water needed for one kilogram of polyester fabric. It also found that cotton production causes considerable cultural eutrophication that happens when fertilizer used for cotton cultivation ends up in aquatic ecosystems like lakes, causing considerable harm. And it found that cotton production's carbon footprint is about five times greater than that of polyester. But not all researchers agree. Susanna Horn, for example, has found that while cotton requires much more water, polyester is much more energy intensive. Polyester is better in the one aspect and cotton better in the other. And garment industry expert Beth Jensen of Textile Exchange thinks there's not much point in even trying to compare the two fabrics. You know, first, I would say we really don't recommend uh, comparing a broad fiber category against another broad fiber category. So cotton against polyester. There are lots of differences in production systems, countries, facility level practices. You know, if you're looking at virgin polyester produced in China, you even want to understand what are the specific practices happening in one facility, which may be very different from the specific production practices that may be happening in another facility right down the road. And she says we also need to take into account whether fabrics are treated with chemicals after production. And then the other thing to consider is when you look at across the life cycle of a garment, what are the dyes, coatings, finishes that are used on the garment overall, regardless of whether it's a synthetic or natural fiber, that's happening and that's also affecting the you know quote unquote sustainability of the overall garment as well and perhaps the longevity and all of those things too okay that was the production side of things so what about the ecological impact of wearing cotton and polyester clothing well this is where it gets even more tricky why because we don't know much about how often people actually wash and dry their clothes, for example. How often garments are washed and dried varies a lot, depending on the person, region and country. Countries like the US, where the energy grid is quite carbon intensive and the consumers there also have the habit of drying their clothes in machines. Um, or washing more, more frequently, and then all this increases the, the greenhouse gas emissions of the use phase. 
But in other countries like Sweden, where the energy mix is cleaner and they wear their clothes for a longer time before they wash them, and also air drying is more common there, all this reduces the greenhouse gas emissions and then the use phase doesn't contribute such a large share to the overall impacts. Although we do know that washing synthetic textiles like polyester releases microplastics into the water. These are tiny plastic particles that can pose a health risk. Cotton, in contrast, does not shed microplastics when washed. Even so, assessing the ecological impact of cotton and polyester clothing during the use phase very much depends on individual consumer behavior and a country's energy mix. So the jury is still out on this one. And what about the moment we choose to get rid of our cotton or polyester clothing? In other words, what about the ecological impact of discarding or recycling our garments? Once again, the answer is, it depends. Cotton garments should break down and biodegrade faster, as they're made from organic material. But cotton does not lend itself well to recycling, as this degrades some of its quality. So if you look at a natural fiber like cotton, often it will lose quality throughout the different recycling cycles because of just the nature of that fiber is that it will lose what we call stable length. That said, polyester clothing tends to be more durable than cotton, meaning that in theory, less polyester items need to be replaced and hence produced. Polyester textiles also lend themselves well to recycling. They can be broken down into individual molecules, cleaned and rebuilt into polyester pellets, which can be processed into polyester yarn. If you're looking at natural fibers versus synthetic fibers, synthetic fibers do tend to be able to hold their properties, you know, in numerous recycling streams. Their performance properties are, are easier to maintain, let's say. But today, only about 15% of polyester fibers produced worldwide come from recycled materials. Of this, most originates from recycled plastic bottles, not polyester clothing. Overall, only a tiny fraction of all clothing is recycled and turned into new garments, according to a 2017 Ellen MacArthur Foundation study. And it's common for clothing to contain a blend of cotton and synthetic fibers, which makes them much more difficult to recycle as different kinds of fabrics first need to be separated from each other. The same Ellen MacArthur study also found that the lion's share of textile fabrics either ends up as landfill or is incinerated. So, unfortunately, there isn't a clear answer as to whether cotton or polyester really is preferable from an ecological standpoint. In fact, Maybe we should reframe the question. I think rather than asking the question which material is better than the other, we should ask the question that how can we increase the use times of that garment. Laura Scherer of Leiden University makes a similar point. It always helps to buy less clothes and to wash the clothes less frequently. Which can also save you time and money. Though bear in mind your friends and colleagues. Yeah, you should definitely consider for the frequency of washing how your clothes smell. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this episode of Living Planet. It was produced by me, Ben Restler, and edited by Neil King. The sound engineer was Michael Springer. If you're struggling to find answers to an environmental dilemma or something where you're faced with two choices and you're not sure which is better for the environment, please let us know. Just send us an email or voice message with your name and location to livingplanet at dw.com and we'll try to find the right answer for you. Also, don't forget to subscribe wherever you get your podcasts and give us a positive rating or review. Thanks for listening.